In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this folding text animation right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you have a brand new composition created. We first want to begin by creating some text. So we'll select the T icon on the top bar of After Effects, select this black video here, and we'll just type out a word of your choice. Now from here, you just want to go ahead and change the font, change the color if you like. You can change the size of this, do whatever you need to do to this. But once you're happy with the look of that, you can just go ahead and place this in the middle. Now the anchor point is the most important part of this animation. You want to make sure that the anchor point is sitting exactly where you need it to be. Because if we just go ahead and simply change the rotation or we add some fold, you can see that it is rotating from the bottom. And that's because the anchor point is sitting at the bottom of the text. So everything is going to animate from this point here. So essentially what we want to do is we want to drop this from the top. So it almost has a cat flap sort of effect. It starts at the top and it animates, drops down and settles into position. So we're going to move the anchor point to the top of that text. So we'll select that, press A on the keyboard, or if your keyboard shortcuts aren't working for any reason, just select the drop down arrow, go into transform, and you'll see anchor points there. We're going to move the anchor point up to the top of that text layer, so around here. And then we'll move the position of the text back into the center. So as you can see, if I adjust the rotation, it is now animating from the top. Now from here, you just want to go ahead and turn this into a 3D layer. So you want to be able to see this option here. You've got the motion blur and then you've got 3D just on the edge here. So we'll select this 3D layer and that is going to turn this into a 3D text layer. So if we go back into this, we go into transform, we can now see we've got X, Y and Z rotation. X rotation is going to do the effect that we want. But for your reference, this is the Y rotation and this is the Z rotation. So for this effect, we want to affect the X rotation. So we're going to pull the X rotation up to around 90 degrees so that it disappears. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the X rotation. Then we'll move roughly 10 frames over to the right. So we'll go roughly 10 and we'll change the X rotation. We'll pull this down so that it goes forward to around here to around negative 70. So we've created this animation. It drops. Now we'll copy this second keyframe. We'll copy that. We'll go roughly two or three frames to the right and we'll paste that in so that it hovers in that position for a second. And then we'll go another 10, maybe 15 frames to the right and we'll pull it up to around plus 50. We'll copy that keyframe, move over two or three frames, paste that in. We'll go maybe 15, 20 frames to the right. We'll pull this down to around negative 34. So as you can see, it's coming from the back, it's holding at the front, going backwards again, going forwards, and it's just slowly rotating to sit in position. So we'll copy that last keyframe again, paste that in, move roughly 20 frames to the right. We'll make this plus 20, copy that again. Then we'll go negative 10, copy that frame again. Another 20 seconds to the right, we'll make that plus five. Copy that again, move over two frames, and then we'll pull this down to zero. So this is what we now have. So first of all, the first thing that we need to do to clean this up is we need to change the keyframe interpolation. So we're going to select everything. We'll select all of those keyframes. We'll right click on one of those keyframes, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now when we play this back, that animation is going to be a lot smoother. Although the problem is, this is holding a little bit too long at the top here. So as this sweeps to here, it's holding just a little bit too long. So I'm just going to decrease the gap between those frames. And if we play this back, that looks a lot more natural. It's still a little bit too long here as well. And there we go. That looks really cool. Although we can go ahead and add one more layer of awesome onto this. We can select the text. Turn on the motion blur by selecting this box. Again, if you can't see this setting, go into toggle switches slash modes to reveal this menu and then make sure this motion blur icon is blue. If this is gray, then it's turned off and you won't see the motion blur. But if it's blue, it means the motion blur is activated. 
and that will create this effect and it really helps to clean up that animation. But there you go, that is the folding text animation effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.